quadratic form. Okay, factoring quadratic form. So, <clears throat> for example, if we had x to the fourth plus 5x squared minus 50, okay, we're used to our trinomials being quadratic functions, right? Like x squared plus 5x minus 50. Well, what happens if x to the fourth and x squared instead of x squared and x? Well, it's the exact same um, premise. It's a 5. It's the exact same premise, but the question is, okay, well, what can I multiply by, uh, what can I multiply together to get x to the fourth? Well, x squared times x squared will give us x to the fourth. And we need to come up with factors of 50, one positive and one negative, that add to give us positive 5. Well, that would be positive 10 and negative 5. And once again, you can always foil it back out to check it. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. The outside gives us negative 5x squared. The inside gives us positive 10x squared. That's what's going to combine to give us the positive 5x squared. And then 10 times negative 5 is negative 50. Okay? Um, let's look at number 2. m to the fourth minus 9m squared plus 14. Okay? Well, m squared times m squared is going to give us m to the fourth. Factors of 14, both of them are negative. That uh, add to give us negative 9. That would be negative 7 and negative 2. Now, something like number 3... 10x to the 6th minus 48x to the 4th minus 10x squared. What are we always supposed to look for first? A GCF. And we've got one here. Okay. Um, 10, 48, and 10. I think the most that they're divisible by would be 2. So we have a GCF of 2. And then we've got x to the 6th, x to the 4th, and x squared. They all have at least x squared. So when we take out 2x squared, we are left with 5x to the 4th minus 24x squared minus 5. Okay, that was just step one. This will factor more. It will factor further. So keep the GCF in front. Okay, don't drop the GCF. Uh, 5x to the 4th, the only way we can get that is if we multiply 5x squared times x squared. Well, we only have one choice for factors of 5. It's 5 and 1, right? We've just got to decide which order it needs to go in. Well, I think it needs to be 1 and 5 because somehow we've got to get negative 24 in the middle. The only way that's going to happen is if we get 5 times 5. Okay. And it is negative 24, so that means it needs to be negative 25 plus 1 to give us the negative 24. And that is fully factored. Hmm? And then like that, it would be a little bit more difficult. Okay? <clears throat> it really doesn't matter who I put beside you, but it does. I'm just going to test for some more. Okay, number four, 5x to the fourth plus 7x squared plus 2. Okay, uh, let's see here. 2 and 1. It's our only choice. And I think we need to put it in there, 2 and 1. And they're both positive. And that works because the outside gives us 5, x squared. The inside gives us 2x squared. Combine those together, that's where the 7x squared comes. Let's do two more together and we will, that'll be it for the day. Number five, 10x to the fourth plus 41x squared minus 18. Okay, um, it'd be great if there was a GCF, but I don't think there is. It's definitely not 10, it's not five, 
is not T. The middle is not divisible by T. So no GCF. That's okay. You can do it anyways. Now, most likely, I'm going to say this is probably 5 times 2, not 10 and 1. I may be wrong, but let's try 5, uh, and I don't know why I put an N right there. Let's try 5 and 2 first. Okay. Um, how about 18? I usually think 9 and 2. And I'm going to put the 2 first and then the 9. Because when I do that, the outside gives me 45, the inside gives me 4, one of them's got to be positive, one of them's got to be negative, and that will give me positive 41 if I put my signs in the right place. Positive 45 minus 4 will give us 41. Okay, number 6, last example. There is a GCF there, thankfully. That would be a mess if there wasn't. Um, tell me this, does 6 go into 174? Let me check that on the calculator. Yeah, okay, good. 6m squared, we take out 6m squared, and it may be more than 6, it may be, no, it's probably not. Uh, that leaves us with what, 20m to the 4th, what is 174 divided by 6? 29. Okay, 29m squared plus 5. Hmm. Oh, this isn't that bad. Okay, if we try to factor that further, I'm going to go with 5 and 4. 5 times 4 to give me 20. And then we don't have choice with 5. It's, it's 1 and 5 or 5 and 1. And I do believe it is 1 and 5. Because the outside gives us 25, the inside gives us 4. Add those together, you get 29. Bless you.